draw with the grandparents today, which means it's the last daily draw that I will be helping with. And we will be here tomorrow, but today is my final daily draw. But it's been a really wet week in Scotland, so I've decided to do umbrellas, although I think it's supposed to get really, really sunny today. So I hope you really enjoy that weather. So when I'm drawing these umbrellas, I think I'm going to think about it in kind of thirds. So if we go one third and then one third here, I'm going to draw an umbrella here and an umbrella here. So they're on the third lines. So I'm going to start with one here and just curve it around here. You can make them as big or as small as you like. That's my first one. And then I'm going to come over here to do the second one. And I'm just going to try to keep it on the thirds there. And then I'm just gonna join those up like so, like that. And that's the first step. I'm going to start off this second step by drawing a little cloud over here. And I'm gonna start with big curve like that and then I'm just going to do two little ones and then one over here and just join them up like that. doesn't matter if it's a bit wonky, all clouds are different, we, we love clouds. Um, I'm going to draw a spike on this umbrella and I'm actually going to draw a little curve on this one just because I want them to be slightly different and I'm going to bring this umbrella handle bit down, draw a line here, and then have it curve like that. And then I'm going to bring this one down as well, do exactly the same thing, just put in a little handle, and that is our step two. have much left on this final step we're going to just do we're going to join up the spike to the two curves with a curve so it's not a straight line if you can see I'm just do, doing a curve and then the final thing that we're going to do is just put in a few little raindrops coming off this cloud you can do as many as you like now I'm going to colour this and paint it using my watercolour pencil so if you keep watching to the next bit you'll see how I use those. in two different colours. I'm going to do this one at the top purple and this one at the bottom in red. So I'm just going to start with this one at the top and I'm actually going to outline the entirety of the umbrella part. So this bit up at the top and just curve it down like that. And then these two sections here, I'm just going to put a little bit more pigment because those are the ones that I want to be purple. I'm going to take I'm going to use my medium brush for this bit, but I think as we keep going in the pitch, there are some smaller, more fiddly bits, so I'll probably use my smaller brush. So that section and then this bit here. And as you can probably guess, I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the red when we get on to do that. But I'm just going to take my black and I'm not going to turn this bit at the top into paint. I'm just going to leave that like that, but I am going to turn this handle part. I'm just going to take my really small brush. You can see that that's a lot smaller and I'm just going to move the pigment like that and then give it a little brown handle just like that and making sure that I clean my brush so there's no black on it. I'm just going to turn that then I'm going to come onto this cloud where my pencil could probably use do with 
a bit of a sharpen, but it's still good. And I'm going to outline this bit here. And I'm actually probably not going to turn that to paint. I am going to put a bit of water on these raindrops, though. So, just like that, just to make them a wee bit more realistic. And then the last little bit is this umbrella, and I'm going to do the same thing as before, where I just outline all of it. And then I'm going to put a bit more pigment in the sections that I want to be red which are going to be these two bits again. So, not colouring it in, just putting some of the pink pigment down. And if you haven't seen the daily drawer before, then you won't know this, but our pencils are actually available to buy on the Little Art School shop. So if you go to our website, you should find them there. And they are, these pencils are absolutely fantastic. And I think I've used them every single week with the drawer with the grandparents. So that's our second umbrella. And, oh, that was my pencil there. Just a little curve here. And the same thing we did before with the handle. Just gonna take this. Like that. And then this last little bit. Turn it to paint, make sure it's clean of all the black. Because you wouldn't want it getting darker. And that's our finished picture. I really hope you enjoyed our final umbrella picture and I hope you have loved drawing with your family members throughout lockdown. Me and mum have loved hearing all the stories about everyone drawing together and it's really, it's really warmed our hearts. We've really loved it. We've had stories of grandparents in Germany doing drawings with children here in the UK so it's just it's been absolutely fabulous so thank you so much for that and even though this is the last daily draw with grandparents we hope that you still continue to draw with your family members once we've finished and don't please don't forget that mum will be back tomorrow we still have one video left and that is Harry Potter so I really hope you join because it's a magical picture